heads at beginning to roll in the public service as President Uhuru Kenyatta continues to crack the whip on corrupt civil servants. Kenyatta's latest target is influential senior government officials in charge of procurement and accounting departments, which have been identified as the highways that necessitate theft of taxpayers' money. The head of public service through Interior Ministry spokesman Mwenda Njoka has directed that all heads of procurement and accounting units in ministries, departments, agencies and state corporations step aside with immediate effect in order to undergo fresh vetting. A statement by government has it that the officers are required to hand over to their deputies before they vacate office. Furthermore, the officers are required to submit personal information to the office of the head of public service to be delivered by Friday 8th June 2018 at Arambe House. The information sought includes their assets, liabilities and previous record of service. The Office of the Head of Public Service says the exercise is geared towards determining suitability to continue holding public office and to promote confidence in the public service. The officers will also undergo polygraph tests and those who do not pass will be sent home. President Uhuru Kenyatta on Madaraka Day ordered vetting of all government procurement officers by end month. I want officials, particularly senior ones, who are directly implicated in corruption to have no place in my administration and for them to go where they belong, which is in jail. The president's call came a day after the civil society members staged anti-corruption protests in Nairobi, demanding that all cabinet secretaries whose ministries were under investigation over allegation of corruption resign with immediate effect. More than 40 suspects believed to have been involved in the NYS scam have been arrested and charged with the Directorate of Public Prosecution and the Directorate of Criminal Investigations pursuing suspects involved in the NCPB and Kenya Power scandals. The latest cleanup in the government came barely three days after President Uhuru Kenyatta declared that the state will fight and defeat corruption the same way Kenyans defeated colonialism. Setolale, NTV, Nairobi.